A little bit about me before we get started on the video. I am a registered dietitian nutritionist residing in Seattle, Washington. I'm a father of two crazy quirky kids who are amazingly turning 12 and 8 next month. I've used my YouTube channel to share videos with family on things with my kids and over the last year have used it to showcase some drone footage. This has become my quarantine hobby during the pandemic. The inspiration for this video came after a recent interview I did on SiriusXM to highlight AAPI Heritage Month, which takes place now during the month of May. This month is a time to celebrate the achievements and accomplishments of the various Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders in America. So why am I doing this video? I am a mystery to many people and get asked this question often. Where are you from? And I respond with, New Orleans, Louisiana. And then I get the retort, no. Like, where are you really from? Some may say this is a form of racism. I'm like, nah, clearly this person hasn't lived in a metropolitan area and been exposed to a wide variety of people. I lived in New York City for nine years and amazingly have now lived in the Emerald City for 10 years. Three cool cities with lots of people and lots of culture and lots of delicious foods. I was born and raised in New Orleans to two immigrant parents. My father is from Cuba and my mother is from Vietnam. When people hear this, their heads go So then the question comes up about the foods that I grew up with. Clearly, growing up in a multicultural household and residing in one of the best food cities in America has an impact on your taste buds. I grew up in the South, and as we say in New Orleans, laissez les bon temps rouler, let the good times roll. Food is delicious and a way of life. Add in the complexities of trying to grow up in America, where I was blessed to reside in a city where both of my parents' families were, meant delicious Cuban food, delicious Vietnamese food, and of course, all of the fine delicacies of the Big Easy. Now that you know a little bit about me, back to the main purpose of this video. As we are celebrating AAPI Heritage Month, or we celebrate any culture around the world, it is important for people to recognize that Asians are not a monolith. The foods, the cultures, and traditions are based on the area, the climate, the temperature, the agriculture, and the personality. The late Anthony Bourdain made a quote, that food is everything we are. It's an extension of nationalist feeling, ethnic feeling, your personal history, your province, your region, your tribe, your grandma. It's inseparable from those from the get-go. To help me with this video, I collaborated with seven registered dietitian nutritionists who are going to help give us a four to six minute overview on the foods and traditions of seven different cultures. The cool thing is that all of these dietitians are of the various descents. 85% of the Asian Americans in this country come from six Asian countries. They are China, India, the Philippines, Vietnam, Korea, and Japan. I've also added Thai into the mix because I know it is popular and I want others to recognize that there is more to Thai food than saying, oh, I love Pad Thai. Before we jump into the seven sections, we will discuss some demographics and other issues in the AAPI community. We will travel around America to visit my friends, and then we'll wrap it up with a call to action. If you look inside this Valapara circle, there are more people residing inside the circle than outside of it. Nearly 59% of the world's population resides inside that circle. Looking at Healthy People 2020, some stats include 33% of persons belonged to a racial or ethnic minority group. 51% were women. 12% of the population have a disability. That is about 36 million people. 77% of the population reside in a metropolitan area. That is 233.5 million people. And 4% of the population identify as LGBTQ. In America, we have experienced a 6.3% growth from 2000 to 2019 with 22 million new persons. Looking at the demographics in general, Hispanics make up 18.5% of the population, African Americans make up 13.4% of the population, and the Asian Americans make up 5.9% of the population, or about 18.9 million people. We also see two or more races is 2.8% of the population, Native American is at 1.3% of the population, 
And finally, Native Hawaiian is at 0.2% of the population. As our focus is on the AAPI community, here's some more interesting stats to give you some context. This is the fastest growing demographic with an 81% growth compared to Hispanics at 71% looking from 2000 to 2019. In the year 2000, there were 11.9 million persons. Now there are 23 million persons. This group is projected to be the largest ethnic racial group by the year 2055, and that is about 34 years from now. And finally, as mentioned previously, six origin groups make up 85% of this population. For the final two clips from Pew Research Center, we can see the distribution of the AAPI community around the country, with the largest segment in the West with 45%, or 9.8 million people, followed by the South at 24%, or 5.3 million people, the Northeast at 90%, or 4.2 million people, and finally the Midwest at 12%, or 2.7 million people. This shows the largest Asian origin group by state. Indian Americans are the largest in 22 states, and you mainly see this in the southeast and midwestern part of the country. Chinese Americans are the largest in 12 states and the District of Columbia. Filipinos are the largest in 9 states. Vietnamese are the largest in 4 states, including my home state of Louisiana. Hmong are the largest in 2 states. And Korea is the largest group in Alabama. In usual times, we would have probably flown around and met with all of these wonderful dietitians and broken bread with them. But because of the pandemic, we'll have to do this virtually using iMovie, some sound effects, and some video engineering to make this event occur. So I hope you appreciate the efforts of all of these wonderful folks as we travel around the country and meet up with them so we can learn about the various foods and cultures of each of their descents. Thank you and enjoy the journey. For the first part of our journey, we get a two-for-one where we get to travel from Seattle to Los Angeles, California to meet with Simon Sum, who is the Director of Scientific Affairs at Herbalife, and Van and the Chef, who has a private practice, vanandtheschef.com.